Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a basic crouch control system, and I mean this is bare bones basic. So, um, first things first is you're going to want to import uh, package characters, and with that you're going to want to go to standard assets, characters, first person controller, prefabs, and then drag in this prefab right here, which is the exact same as what I already have inside of my system, or inside of my game. And then with that dragged in, in here in the hierarchy, you can see FPS controller. And then over here in the inspector, you can see character controller, first person controller, script, and rigid body. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to go add components, new script, and we're going to call this crouch. Or, yeah, we'll just call it crouch. And then we're going to go create an add. So it's going to add our basic or our crouch script, and we're going to open that up in. Um, we're going to open that up in Visual Studio, and then I'm going to remove this and do void start, and then uh, we're also going to need uh, void. So this is our going to be our basic script, and this is where we're going to hold everything. So uh, we're going to start off by doing a public character controller, and then I'm going to call this uh, character controller. And this is where uh, I'll explain everything after it's written, and that way it'd be easier. So then we're going to go want to go to our void start, and we're going to do. Uh, character controller equals game object dot get component and then character controller brackets semicolon and then after once you've done that you're going to want to go to a uh, void update and you're going to want to write uh, if input dot get key not get key down, just get key, key code uh, dot, and I'm going to put left control, as that's what it would normally be, and then in here we're going to want to do character controller dot height um, equals, and we're going to set it to 1, 1F one for float, and then else Else do oh shit character controller dot height equals one point eight f okay so here we have the public character controller which allows us to access the uh, which will hold the character controller public publicly and then in void start we have character controller so this variable here equals game object so the fps controller get the component of the character controller which is right here on the fps controller so it gets this character controller and place it in that variable and then this will give us accessibility to all the values of character controller and then in void update if input that get key code dot left control and then you're going to do the brackets and then character controller so the variable dot height equals one so this is accessing the height part of the character controller and changing this value to one as you can see it's 1.8 by default and then uh, else if you're not pressing key code left control it's going to set it back to 1.8 and that is basically it. So you're going to want to control S that for saving. Go back into Unity. And then over here in the inspector, you can see that character controller variable has popped up. Then we're going to click play and it should fill that non uh, character controller with the character controller, as you can see there. And now when I 
press left control, it puts you into crouch mode. And you can see the value change up there in the inspector also for height. That now you can see that's 1, 1 1.8, 1, 1 1.8. And that is just the bare bones uh, crouch mechanism. And obviously we can go a lot more in depth further down the line, but that is just for a basic crouch. And we will be adding more onto that. Uh, for that script, if you don't feel like typing it out, you can find it on my website and I'll link the website down below and it'll be in the scripts part of the website and it'll just be called Basic Crouch and it'll be there for download. Um, other than that guys, please make sure to rate, comment and subscribe uh, for more tutorials and down in the comment section below let me know what you'd like me to do. Uh, next tutorial that should be up will be a cutscene tutorial using the... Um, using the movie texture so uh, stay tuned for that and that's what this whole scene here is for it will probably cover uh, that'll probably be a two-part video for different parts probably 10 minutes long each so um till then um thanks for watching adios